some curious beliefs. Witchcraft, especially in its black magic form, form still exists in the belief of many African cultures and indigenous peoples around the world. It, in North America, for instance, the Navajo believe that witchcraft is an exclusively male practice. It initiates meeting at night to make magic wear nothing except a mask and jewelry. They sit among baskets of corpses and are used, used to converse with dead women. Some African cultures hold that witches get together in cannibal covens. They meet. It is believed in some tribes in Guinea in graveyards, sitting round a fire and feasting vampire fashion of the blood of their victims. Witches have the ability to take a person's soul and keep it until the victim dies. Witches here are believed to have made a pact with an evil spirit who grants them power that they exercise through familiar through a familiar such as a dog, baboon, or as the witches in medieval Europe and 17th century North America, a cat. The Zande, who, li who live in the Congo area and some other Central African peoples believe that a witch's power comes from his or her own body. They believe that the source of the capacity to cast evil spells is located in the witch's stomach and that as the witch ages, so their power increases. The witch can activate the, this power simply by wishing someone ill, but the spell is made stronger by the use of potions and powerful magic. In parts in parts of Africa, witches are thought to act unconsciously and might well be unaware of the ill, ill that they cause until it is brought to, to their attention. Those who suffer at the hands of such a witch might have held that, a view, that view until the witchcraft is turned to their direction then they are quick to change their minds and claim, and claim that the witchcraft was deliberate. Witchcraft is still blamed in some developing parts of the world and deceased for, world for disease, disease and disaster, some as major as, as a fatal landslide or a devastating flood, which has serious consequences for many people, others as trivial as failure in an exam or performing badly on a job interview. In parts of Brazil, for example, where job loss is thought to be due to witchcraft, whoever suffered the loss participates in a ritual concentration with a shaman who of course expects to be rewarded for his efforts. To be fair, many people who believe the wit that witchcraft can be responsible for misfortunes do not lay the blame at its door every time misfortune strikes. If, if there is a logical explanation, it is often accepted a bad a badly built shelter that blows down in a gale was obviously not strong enough to withstand withstand it. But if a seemingly well built hut collapses for no apparent reason, then the blame may well lay be laid in laid at a witchcraft door. People in modern Africa and 
other areas where witchcraft is still part of everyday culture usually also believe in local di divinities and the spirit world. If, the, if they are sick, they will often turn to conventional medicine to cure their physical symptoms while also looking at the local witch doctor to explain hidden to explain and treat the hidden causes of the illness. The sick may wear amulets to protect them from illnesses practiced the definition advised by the witch doctor and take the medicine prescribed. Often when witchcraft is held to the to be responsible for misfortune, the sufferer will try to discover the source. Source, the the bewitched might seek help from a diviner to establish the identity of the witch. The diviner may go into a trance and use a variety of props, often dice or animal bones, to do this. Among one African people, divination to form out a witch's identity is by administering poison to a chicken and mentioning the name of the, of the suspect. If the chicken dies, the suspect is innocent. If it lives, guilt is pronounced and the appropriate action taken. Thank you for this chapter I just finished. But and blessed be.